Hey everybody, I'm BC and welcome to my video guide on how to make your first rover. In this guide I'm going to show you how to put a rover together, vehicle, whatever you want to call it, and show you how to configure the wheels and suspension and have it all configured. Uh, there's going to be two variations on this. There's going to be uh, a battery version and a powered uh, generator version. So the first thing we need to do with any vehicle is you've got to place it on a jack. Not only so you have something to work on, but to keep the physics in line. And if you've played this game for a while, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So the basics that we need for any vehicle, one is a cockpit. That's where we're going to control it from. There's two variations on this. There's a, a two-wide and a three-wide, both rounded and flat cockpit. Uh, if you pay attention to the number on the bottom left, and this is something that you'll have to pay into pay attention to when you start getting to hover pads and air blades and that is the weight and this the weight on this cockpit the 2 by 3 is 400 the one I'm using is 500 uh, I don't know what the unit of measurement is but as you can see by the small armor blocks it's only 30 so that's where we start uh, it's not too big of an issue when we're dealing with small vehicles like this but when you start getting up into larger mobile bases where you have you know the big wheels and basically giant structures you're trying to move around it's gonna definitely add to it so let's go ahead and start with a battery version so we'll go ahead and uh, what you can do is you can actually build with the, the battery blocks so instead of using the armor blocks and this just saves you the weight uh, they do say a hundred percent because I am in creative in case you haven't noticed and that was a bad mistake on my part <laughs> Uh, it's just for time saving and uh, lag purposes because my survival world is a little on the laggy side. So now we got some batteries. You can use blocks too if you want to. We'll do a generated version. We'll also do it at the same time. Get two builds going at the same time. So then we'll do that. And we'll place a cockpit on top of there. Actually, I got to make sure we have enough room for this. Get the jack that and then we do the same thing here except uh, what we have to do is we do have to have some sort of blocks to place the wheels on and since the generators you can only place I'll just bring one up so I can show you uh, you can see the conveyor port at the bottom it's the only place you can actually attach stuff to the side if you change your axis by placing X pressing X we can lift it up one block and that leaves us room for some armor blocks and we'll use the armor blocks in fact what we can do to save on weight is use the slopes because they have half the weight of the actual armor blocks themselves so we go like so and then again we change our uh, let's see which way do we want to go like so guess it doesn't really matter as long as you have a flat side facing outwards for the suspension that's all that matters. So now, uh, let's go ahead and put our suspension on. One there, one, one there. Uh, on the sides of the cockpits, you can only place on this bottom row here. You can't place anything up here. And same on the front. So for when it comes time for you to build your own creation. And I say creation because you're not just limited to building these kind of vehicles. You can build just about anything you want. So then now we put the wheels on, and as you see, the uh, suspension will drop. It only does that when you finish building it with the multi-tool. So we do the same on that side, and then because I've neglected this one, go over here, put suspension on this bad boy. Uh, this one will probably be a little bit faster because it is going to be lighter. Uh, those eight batteries weigh a lot less than that generator, as far as I know. It was weigh almost 40. Yeah, so it's weighs 200. It's almost half the weight. So it will work a little bit faster. Uh, I don't know how long the charge lasts on the on the batteries. I do know the more batteries you have for four wheels, the longer of a charge you'll have, but the longer it'll take to charge it up. All right. So now, now we need a switchboard, and this is important with anything that requires power. Now, before you used to just hook up the generator right to all four wheels. But now the generator can only connect to one thing. So we'll place a switchboard there, and we'll place a switchboard over here. And I can even use this for what I'm going to show you next. All right, so that is all done. So now we can take them off the jacks. Take that off. Take that off. Now they both don't have power yet, because now we have to configure everything. So let me get that out of the way. You open up the config menu on 
the switchboard and any just about any function functional block has this menu uh, in this case we have a power on power off we have connect we have disconnect and we have a rename so we just go ahead to connect and then we connect this to all four wheels and you get this one in the back and you also have to connect it to the batteries uh, there has been a few there has been a few people that were a little confused they thought they just had to put the switchboard on the generator and it connects automatically but no you have to do this regardless of where it is so now I got that connected so this is all set so that's all powered it's saying 99 because I'm only using 1% of the actual power that's being produced by those I think I'm not too sure <laughs> I've been in creative too long oh yeah now I'll show you with the generator here the generator will let me connect to one wheel but only one wheel and that's because the generator only has one connection point so we connect that to here and then that's all we can connect but we can connect the switchboard to all four wheels and now this has power now if you need to char ever need to charge your battery powered version all you have to do is connect it to a generator directly or to a switchboard that a generator is connected to and all you have to do really is just take this you connect you connect to that so now this rover is actually charging this rover and you can see by the the green icons it's letting you know that it's charged and that it's being charged and then it, to disconnect it either just drive away they will be adding reconnection of wire connections that so if you drive away and you drive back it'll automatically connect but it, to do it again you just click select the connect again and click again if you choose this icon here it disconnects everything so you don't want to do that if it's something where you have a lot of things connected because you have to reconnect everything so with that being said let's connect the power back up and then I'll show you about the suspension and the wheels okay so the, w the suspension really only has one say and that's just the tent how tight the suspension is so that's the highest strength so basically it's like almost a fixed and you go down really soft and you'll start getting a lot of this bobbing and weaving and all that stuff so we'll just set these to medium for now because they don't need to be anything higher than that uh, obviously the heavier the vehicle the tighter you'll need your suspension because it's it's got to overcome a lot more weight so now we get to the wheel part and this is what confuses a lot of people uh, as you notice the wheels on this side the direction is the arrow is going this direction the wheel on this side the arrow is going on this direction what you have to actually do is you have to change the, the actual direction of the wheel and then again we have the same thing you can turn the wheel actually on or off we can disconnect it from the grid uh, this one here changes the actual direction the wheel travels so in this case we have to have the steering uh, arrows pointing the same direction uh, that arrow the direction of this arrow means that when you push forward or in this case W the wheel is actually going to go this way if I had to switch backwards going the other way if I push W then it would go backwards a little confusing I know so I got that all set these two set now for steering uh, steering is on the bottom there's opposite steering so in this case when you're pushing left it's actually going to go right so then you want your steering indicators in the front for your front if you're making a vehicle that turns on a dime you have your steering opposite the, in the back so if you have it in the front here you have it in the back here and that will give you sort of like uh, turn on a dime sort of deal and then the last setting you probably see that S that is for either speed or torque uh, if you're having trouble climbing up hills or you have a heavier vehicle set it to torque if you want speed then just leave it to speed so let's take these bad boys let's take these guys for a spin so this one's all set up and as you can see I forgot to change change my wheel direction I was pushing forward and I was spinning on a dime so we need direction we need steering over here and direction in the back so we hop back in and we are off now the wheels do have a limited speed of I think like 50 kilometers an hour uh, there might be ways of going a little faster than that but there is our battery powered rover there is no e-brake you just get out and it should stop automatically and we'll get build vision off so we don't see those lines and then this is our generator version and as you can see it's a little slower because it's carrying twice as much weight.
And in this case, you would just add another set of wheels on there. Uh, this definitely would need some torque to climb up some hills. But that is that. And yeah, uh, again, your design is entirely up to you. These are just basic four-wheel vehicles. If you want to add six, you want to add 20, it's entirely up to you. Uh, there are larger variations. Uh, we'll show you these in a second here. Uh, down here, these are the big big boys. I'm not going to actually bother doing a demonstration for this. Uh, you can check out my channel to see what kind of things I've done with this thing. Uh, we are actually going to need something big to stack this on. So we'll just grab that. Uh, for the jack, you don't have to use a jack as long as you have a block touching the ground like that. You can... Uh, you you can build on top and just take the block out. Uh, that's another side note too. If you ever plan on doing any work on your vehicle, make sure you put a jack under it, plant it to the ground, because if you don't, bad things can happen. And in this case, it didn't happen, but you can see that twitching that's going on. Uh, sometimes that'll give you a satellite without even you wanting it. But I'll just quickly show you these big wheels here and the big suspension. So big suspension is number six. Nope. Five. As you can see, it's a really big. They do need a lot more power, though. I think these ones. I think the small wheels were 70 power. Okay, 35 power, and then on 70 on the big guys. Uh, I don't know if that actually changes during the torque setting or speed setting, but there's number four. And exact same thing as the small vari variation. You can adjust the suspension here. You got your power disconnect, your direction, your steering, your torque, and speed. But anyways, that concludes my tutorial on how to make a, your first rover and how to configure the suspension, the suspension and the wheels. Uh, anyways, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave, leave me a like on this video and enjoy.